Hello everyone. I uh, found a story here that I thought was pretty interesting. Um, it's about smart meters. A lady in Canada um, woke to a loud sound and um, then an explosion went off. Turns out it was a smart meter. She um, did get away okay, but they found out that the reason that her house, you know, burnt, caught on fire was because of the smart meter. And uh, May 2015 in Dallas, Texas, the homeowner was not as fortunate when a smart meter fire broke out unexpectedly. 74-year-old James Humphrey Jr. did not make it out alive when a faulty smart meter exploded and burned down his home without warning. Trapped in his bedroom, the heavy flames roaring around him, Humphrey Jr. was unable to escape and was found charred on the bedroom floor when firefighters located his body. Oh my goodness. Then it says here, smart meters forced on homes without consent or options. I guess I'm fortunate in my area. I haven't had that problem yet. Um, but I guess you should be aware. I found this uh, YouTube video. This was really interesting. Here, have a look. Headache, dizziness, that's what several Pepco customers say they are experiencing after wireless smart meters were installed at their homes. And now Nine wants to know why these meters are emitting radiation far more frequently than Pepco claims. Our Kristen Fisher uncovered this new evidence, and Kristen, this is similar to the radiation debate over cell phones and cancer, right? Yes, this is very similar to that debate in that it's the same kind of radiation and the research into its safety is not conclusive. But here's the big difference. You can choose how often you use your cell phone, right? But with smart meters, you don't have a choice. The frequency with which you are exposed to this radiation is determined by the power company. And as I found, it may be a lot more frequent than they claim. This is a meter that tests for radio frequency radiation, the same kind of radiation that's emitted by smart meters. And today, Desiree Jaworski with the Center for Safer Wireless, an independent group that questions the safety of smart meters, is using this device to test three Pepco customers' smart meters. We turn off anything else that might emit this radiation, our cell phones, my wireless microphone. That way we know that any radiation we pick up is coming from the meters. So this is a smart meter bank. It's inside a Northwest DC condominium building and there's 32 different smart meters inside this building. So what I did was I brought in a meter that measures the levels of radio frequency radiation and what I'm finding is that these smart meters are emitting radiation every few seconds. But Pepco says smart meter communications take place every four to six hours. What Pepco says is happening is that these smart meters send out communications every four to six hours on a daily basis. But what we're seeing is that these smart meters communicate about four to six times a minute, if not more. We also tested two single family homes. And even with just one smart meter, we got the same readings. It did not sit well with homeowner. Lisa Cresselius in Potomac. They're not asking you if they may radiate you or not. No, They're just doing it. On top of that, it's, it's more than what they were saying. It just comes across as very dishonest. So I brought these findings to Pepco spokesman Marcus Beal, who said, I can't account for, for a test that we, you know, there are a lot of variables involved that, that you know, we can't account for uh, with a test that we're not at, present at. But, uh, you know, we're, we're confident in, in the specs of our meters and, and the, the safeness of the meters at this point. So I asked Pepco if we could go out with their experts to do their own test. They told me they would look into it. And just to be clear, we're not saying whether or not this radiation is dangerous. That's up to the scientists, and it is currently the subject of a very heated debate. What we're saying, Leslie, is that our testing simply showed that the meters are emitting radiation more frequently than Pepco is telling its customers. So this is really just an attempt to give people information, to empower Correct. them, and they can make their own decisions about going forward. You got it. Kristen, thank you. Irregular heartbeat. All right, um, that was a pretty cool video, huh? Kind of amazing uh, that they put off that much radiation, and the guy at Pepco looks like to me he's grinning the whole time he's talking, like he knows exactly what's up. Uh, anyway, I thought this was really shocking. I don't know where this place is, but um, I'm glad I don't live there. 
Let's check it out. Here's your city employees following their direction, you know. I agree. A refusal to let Naperville City employees install a new wireless smart meter ended with the slicing of steel cable, a last attempt to keep it from happening. You step over here, you're under arrest. And homeowner Jen Stahl being led away in handcuffs. She's one of several hundred Naperville residents opposed to the new wireless meters to read electricity. Their two year battle with the city came to this Naperville workers hopping fences onto private property and installing the meters anyway. Get off my property right now. No, no. Kim Bendis shot that video at her home. Hours later, she was arrested while shooting video at Jen Stahl's house. Okay, I warned you the first time. Call us black power, have a place on our arrest. Bendis and the other smart meter opponents say privacy, security, and health concerns about the meter's radio frequency are the basis for their fight. There's a pending federal lawsuit against Naperville about the meters, too. The city uh, is absolutely within its rights, says Naperville city manager Doug Krieger, and he says the city intends to finish installing them this month. In a nutshell, they call the city of Naperville a bunch of bullies. Uh, we absolutely are not bullies. Uh, I, I believe we've been over backwards to accommodate them. Wow, that's amazing. I didn't even think about um, looking that up to see what happened with the uh, with the proceedings there. Let's see, Naperville smart meter lawsuit. Well, there it is. Federal lawsuits against the city of Naperville, June 18th, smart meter lawsuit due back in federal court. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Let's go back. Um, come on. January 27th, smart meter fo federal. July 21st, Naperville Council postpones consideration of 117-5 statement. Ooh, settlement in smart meter lawsuit. Well, well, well. well let's see what this says. And this is the Chicago Tribune. So Naperville was obviously in Chicago. Naperville City Council members Tuesday night postponed consideration of paying 117 thousand five hundred dollars to settle a federal lawsuit filed last winter by a staunch opponent of the city smart meter installation program according to the 12 page settlement agreement posted online as part of the council's business meeting agenda the money would be paid to naperville resident malia kim bendis whose January 23rd lawsuit accused the city and four of its police officers of violating her constitutional rights. Oh, good for you, honey. Anyway, here it is. I will go ahead and leave, um, leave all the links below, including this one, and um, just bring it around awareness. Uh, pass along, subscribe, and you have a great day. Thanks for watching.